Hello everyone and welcome into Coach Craig Sports. This is the MLB DFS Corpic video for today, Wednesday, August 28th. If you're joining me for the very first time, first of all, welcome in. Second of all, this is how today's video will be structured. We will be going over my core picks. It's going to be one pitcher, four hitters. That's going to be based on a combination of past performance versus the respective opponent, as well as some recent history. And then after that, we can move over to my cheat sheet and talk about my top GPP teams to stack for tonight's slate overall. That cheat sheet is 100% free and it can be found on Facebook, Twitter, and and the YouTube community page, so definitely feel free to check it out as you're building out your lineups for tonight's slate overall. But without further ado, we'll jump right into it with the core picks. We're going to start off at the pitcher position. I got Joe Musgrove here. He's $8,100, averaging just under 25 fantasy points on the season. Been a really up and down year for him. Dealt with a lot of injuries as well, or I should say a handful of injuries. So kind of been unfortunate in that regard. Coming off a really strong start, though, he goes against the St. Louis Cardinals tonight, and he does have some pretty decent history versus them, or mostly decent, I should say. The only two guys they have kind of hit him well in the past typically have been Paul Goldschmidt and Nolan Arenado, who have both kind of had down seasons. Goldschmidt pitched against the Cardinals earlier this season and had 46 points and did not pitch against them in 2023. But if we look at what he's done so far on this season, he does have four wins. Eerie is at 4.43. Like I said, it's been an up and down year for him. Obviously, he's dealt with a couple injuries, so a little bit unfortunate from that regard. But if he's starting to rate the ship and if it looks like anything like his most recent start, should be pretty good for him once again tonight. Then we move down to the hitters. We're going to start off with Vladimir Guerrero Jr., $3,800, averaging just over 12 fantasy points per game. Goes against the Boston Red Sox and Brian Bayo on the mound for them tonight. And with Vladimir Guerrero Jr. here, you can play him at third base as well as first base. Probably should have done that for the sake of this video. But in his career versus Brian Bayo, he's 8 for 19 with two home runs. So some pretty good history there. He's on a modest four-game hit streak. All four of those games have been multi games. One home run during that time span. Three double-digit performances. And all four games have been nine fantasy points or more. So a pretty safe floor for him overall does come with a pretty good amount of upside at the same time as well and if we look at what he's done so far in the season 322 average 27 home runs 87 rbis once again averaging over 12 fantasy points per game at 3800 dollars and then we're going to move all the way down to the outfield with his teammate in George Springer, $3,200, averaging just over 9.5 fantasy points per game. Goes against Brian Bayo as well tonight, and he is 8 for 20 with one home run versus Brian Bayo in his career. He's had at least one hit in two out of his last three games. He has one multi game during that time span, one home run, one double digit performance, so a lot of ones there, but all three games have been at least 9 fantasy points. So, a relatively safe floor at the end of the day. And if we look at what he's done so far on the season, 221 average, 19 home runs, 55 RBIs, once again, averaging just over nine and a half fantasy points per game at $3,200. And then we're going to go right back to JD Martinez, $3,200, averaging just under nine and a half fantasy points per game. You know, this was supposed to be the play for Tuesday, but Eduardo Rodriguez's start got pushed back to Wednesday. So we're going back to JD Martinez in that situation, three for five with two home runs versus Eduardo Rodriguez. Not too much that we didn't already say in yesterday's video, but he's been a a little bit of a small slump hopefully breaking out of that you know once again tonight and he's got 251 average 15 home runs 62 rbis and once again averaging just under nine and a half fantasy points per game and then last but not least we're going down to tristan casas so technically he probably should be at first base and we should move by a junior over to third base do apologize for that wasn't really thinking of that when i was building out this core picks but tristan casas in his career versus chris bassett one for two with a home run he's on a modest three game hitting streak as we do speak two multi games during that time span one home run, two double-digit performance, and all three games have been at least nine fantasy points or higher. Obviously dealt with some injury this year, so on the season of totality, 279 average, eight home runs, 17 RBIs. Once again, those numbers are down a little bit because he did deal with a pretty big injury, but he's hit pretty well since he's been back, averaging about 10.5 fantasy points per game at $3,100. Looks like a solid option for tonight's slate overall. But with that being said, if you go with these five players that I do currently have listed here, you'll have $13,600 remaining, $3,400 per player. You know, if you want to pay up at that pitcher position, you know, Corbin Burns, you can definitely do that. If you want to pay up all the way to Chris Sale, you could, but we're probably going to have to swap one of these guys out and then kind of pay down on a couple other spots. But I do definitely like the upside of Chris Sale tonight. Just wasn't something that was able to fit with the guys that I did have in terms of the hitters for tonight overall. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to my Chi and talk about my top GPP teams to stack for tonight's slate overall. Once again, the Chi is 100% free. It's up on Facebook, it's up on Twitter, and it's up on the YouTube community tab. So definitely feel free to use it as a reference as you're building out your lamps for tonight's slate. But the three teams that I do have to stack for tonight, we got the Toronto Blue Jays going against Brian Bayo. And Brian Bayo has had some pretty hit or miss history versus this Blue Jays team in the past. Obviously, we have two of those guys in the core picks of Vladimir Guerrero Jr., George Springer. You can also look at Dalton Varsho, Spencer Horowitz, 
Alejandro Kirk. A couple different guys in that lineup overall. Then we have the Atlanta Braves going against David Festa, I believe, making his eighth career Major League start. Hasn't been too great up to this point in time. The only guy on this Braves team that does have history versus him in the past is going to be Gio Urshela, but definitely feel free to stack this Braves team overall. And then last but not least, we have the Baltimore Orioles going against Walker Buehler. The only guy that really has a decent amount of history versus Walker Buehler on this team is going to be Austin Slater, but definitely do like the upside of that Orioles team, and Walker Buehler has not pitched well whatsoever however, as of late. But with that being said, that's a quick little rundown in terms of my core picks as well as top GPP teams to stack for Wednesday, August 28th. As always, if you have any questions related to MLB DFS, be sure to drop them down in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. And then with that being said, I'll be leaving all the updates down there as well, whether that is weather-related, starting pitcher-related, and I will also be posting all these starting lineups as they do come out throughout the late afternoon and early evening down there as well. So definitely make sure you're checking up down in that comment section, especially as we get closer to lock. But with that being said, if you are brand new to my channel, checking out for the very first time or have yet to subscribe, please consider doing so. Definitely would appreciate it. Helps to build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports, which is one that's truly for you, the viewers, helping you with your DFS. Right now we have MLB DFS in terms of the core picks Monday through Friday. We have my CFL DFS video coming out once a week, typically on Wednesdays. This week's will be a little bit later in the week because of Labor Day weekend and the game's being pushed back a couple days. So be on the lookout for that probably on Friday this week overall. And then last but not least, if you're interested in sports betting, if you're interested in prop betting whatsoever, be sure to check out the links and promo codes down in the description below for prize picks, parlay play, and BetUS. If you are a brand new user on any one of those three sites, when you sign up, make your initial deposit, you will get a first match deposit bonus. For prize picks and parlay play, it's 100% match up to $100. And then for BetUS, it's 125% match up to $2,000. So some pretty great opportunities to be had out there. And then with that being said, if you have any other additional questions related to that, whatsoever feel free to reach out to me whether it's down in the comment section of this video or on twitter at coach craig sport and be more than happy to help you with that journey as well but with that being said that's all that i truly have for today's video definitely do appreciate each and every one of you tuning in definitely means a lot to me i hope that each and every one of you have a great rest of your day and some pretty good luck in mlb dfs tonight